I see negligence within the administration of the Emergency Communication Center. The original plan was to cross train all of us and now they say we don't have the staff or time to do so. Myself and my coworkers have done everything in our power to attempt to rectify the situation to protect the citizens and it doesn't seem that anyone's listening to us. We were supposed to all be cross trained to do each other's jobs. And the problem is they only cross-trained some people how to do the job and none of the dispatchers were included. It keeps me up at night because I've gotten calls that I could not handle with the training given to me. I had a three-month-old child that was not breathing uh, within the city limits and I was not able to legally give them CPR instructions even though I know how to do CPR. There's usually between seven and nine of us on the phones at one time. And when dispatchers are on the phones, you know, the chances of you getting them one in nine, two in nine sometimes. So you never know who you're gonna get. And if everybody else is on a call, nobody will be available to take those medical calls. There's no one available to take the call for me. It's nobody, nobody's being lazy. Everyone's working hard. It's just no one's available. And if not, I just put in an EMS run and get off the telephone. I start the fire department and get off the phone to answer other emergencies. It's sad and scary at the same time. It's scary because you don't know what's going to happen to those people. And it's sad because you put yourself in their shoes. And how would you feel if that was you? A lot of people have an uneasy feeling about being assigned to take 911 calls because a lot of them are only half trained. Multiple people have resigned and taken lower paying jobs just to get away. Since we separated from the police and fire department, we have not received one in service and it is supposed to be yearly. If it was you calling 911, you would want somebody with the right mental state taking your telephone call and helping you out. The public's essentially in danger. If someone's choking, you could die within the three to five minutes it takes for the fire department to get there. And with layoffs on the table, it's gonna take longer than that. This is a serious problem. Sometimes we don't even have enough dispatchers to cover the channels, so we don't have any on the phones. But sometimes we'll be so short on the phones with three or four call takers that they'll assign a dispatcher over there or even ask dispatchers to come in for overtime. When you call 911, it's more of a lottery, in my opinion. Either you get someone that's trained to help you or you don't. I do feel a sense of responsibility and it also makes me angry that I wasn't trained to help these people. It takes a special person and when we find that special person, you would think that they would want to keep them and hold on to them. Instead, we were given a message of don't let the door hit you on the way out. Mr. Estes doesn't listen to anything we have to say in regards to wanting to be trained and how to make things more efficient and make us happier as a whole. Mr. Estes is passionate about the 911 calls being answered within a certain amount of seconds. Therefore, if, he, if we have to combine police channels, like District 2 and 4 would be on one dispatcher's shoulders so we could put a dispatcher on the phones to get that call answered faster, but the person answering it's not trained to handle it. It doesn't make sense in the long run.